Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to you all uh, from Lakeside but not really Lakeside it's my kitchen um, and thank you so much first of all for all the comments on my previous video um, and as I said in that video my subscribers have gone up through the roof um, they are now well past 13,000 so when I did that video it was 12,000 something or other it's now 13,100 and something um, I haven't checked recently but that's what it was last time I looked so thank you to all my new subscribers again <coughs> um, and also thank you to everybody who has subscribed but also commented too these comments mean so much to me at the moment <clears throat> um, uh, I, I've, I've got a bit of a tickly throat at the moment uh, so you have to excuse my voice um, it's been obviously still very hard at the moment it's not over and done with by any means but we are getting there so these words of comfort um, really do mean a lot to me um, I've you know, I, I can't express how much these buck me up when I read them so thank you everyone for your comments they really are appreciated <clears throat> okay so what's with the coach then well this is a Hornby Auto Coach in BR Maroon and this was very very kindly given to me free of charge by a young lad called Harry Chapman what a lovely guy that is he is um, he messaged me and said would I like this free of charge and um, he said I'll even throw in a little surprise and I of course snapped his hand off and uh, said thank you very much it arrived and the first thing I did was I had a set of um, sitting people and this really needed to be populated by some people so I've already done that uh, hopefully that's coming out you can just about make them out in there and so I thought right well this needs more than just sitting people this needs at least lighting in here as well um, and when I looked I noticed that um, it had got plastic wheels so I'm swapping those plastic wheels out Harry I'm sorry about that um, I'm swapping those plastic wheels out for some metal wheels which I've got here um, I did hunt around for different versions of lighting for coaches I've done various ones in the past and I thought I'd look around to see what has changed since I did them last and there's quite a few but the one which attracted me was uh, this particular kit here which is from layouts for you in March in Cambridgeshire which is only up the road from me actually um, and the reason why I liked it it was it was just simple um, I could have gone for the train tech ones but they are about 20 pounds plus for each coach which I thought was a bit OTT um, this was about four pound I think four pound fifty <clears throat> and it gives you the uh, LED strip for the roof a battery a battery holder a switch which was important for me um, I didn't want to use magnets <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice I'm afraid got a bit of a tickle in my throat um, a switch some wire cable um, and a full set of instructions on how to fit it but to be honest with you it's so simple um, so that's what I should be doing today uh, installing lighting and putting steel wheels on the bogies to replace the plastic ones Harry also sent me a in the package he also sent me a um, little model car which was of a Morris Minor van which was slightly under scale for double O 
but um, as a lot of you know, I do collect dinky toys and corgi toys and lots of other small scale vehicles. Um, so I'll pop that in with that collection. So it hasn't gone wasted at all. In fact, it's right at the very front of the display uh, for all to see. So um, what else am I going to do to this? I'm going to, I've taken off the large D-ring coupling on the front here. It's only clipped on and I'll be putting some vacuum pipes and uh, hook on the front <coughs> um, so that uh, it just adds a little bit of realism when it's going along. I've left the ordinary um, coupling on the back which is a small tension lock coupling but I will leave that. Um, so that's what I've got to do. So the first job really for me is to do is to strip the coach down and uh, take the pokers off, put the new wheels on and then we'll start doing the lighting. And I will come back to you at various stages of the install just to show you how far I've got. Um, I doubt if I will, my soldering iron is over that way. Um, and um, I won't be able to show you me soldering, but um, I will show you the stages that I go through. This is not a how to, this is how I do it. Okay, so you will probably make up your own minds and do it another way, that's fine. Uh, as long as the lights come on, that's all what matters, isn't it? Uh, but this is tr just really my way of doing it. Okay, so I will speak to you again later once I've got to the first stage, which will be the wheels. Okay, so bye for now. Bye. Hello and back again. Um, so the, as you can see, the coach is now completely dismantled. Um, so the job I've done is to replace the wheels with the metal wheels. So that's the first job now done. I've lightly oiled the axles in the axle boxes um, and I've also used my back-to-back -back gauge to check the wheels uh, the dimensions so that's now all running nice and smoothly uh, the weight is off the roof is off and if I lift that up you can see possibly the people inside seating on their positions now this is the guards area, um, so I think what I will do, um, if you imagine the coat strip running along here, I will pass the wires down through the guards area, bring them out from underneath here, and then go in, uh, to drill holes in here too to match, bring the wires down through the chassis taking them either side of the bogey tucked up inside the chassis rail um, and then I will have the switch about there and the battery holder about there and that way it keeps it all nice and neat um, and if I want to change the battery it's just a case of flipping the battery out of here and putting the new one in I will mount both the switch and the battery holder with black tack um, just so that if I find it a little bit cumbersome to try and get the battery out I can just lift this up and take it out that way and stick it back down with black tack again. Uh, I don't want to super glue them down, I don't want to use hot wax to put them, I think black tack it's very strong, there's no weight to those so they should be absolutely fine. So the next stage really is for me to start drilling a couple of holes for the wires um, and then I can solder the wire to the lighting strip. So that would be my next stage. So I will do that and then come back to you. Okay, see you in a minute. Hello again and welcome back. Okay, so it's gone well so far. I haven't tried it so <laughs> I don't know if it's going to grow that well. but. Um, fingers crossed I've done everything to the instructions so I don't see why it shouldn't work um, so what I've done is uh, there you go there's a there's the black wire here 
um, and I've run it along right on the inside edge of the chassis rail um, I drilled a couple of holes um, for the cables to pass up from the roof light fed them down to the back here out through the bottom out along and as I say glued them either side of the chassis rails here um, <clears throat> and then it was a case of following the instructions to how to wire up and the red wire from the light goes from one side of the switch to the other side of the switch and then to the uh, what there's two terminals there's three terminals sorry all together on the battery compartment you only use two of them the center one is for the black wire and either one of the side terminals is for the red wire um, so all I've got to do now um, I will pop the battery in um, if it works which I hope it will if it works then I can glue the button down the switch and I will black tack the battery holder so that I can just remove it easily put the battery in and put it back down again and the bogey will of course sit on top there to hide it all so you shouldn't in theory at the end of the day see any of the wires um, I may paint at a later stage the red wire black just so that it doesn't show up red that's all um, but I think that will probably be it so testing time I swear I have not tried this so let's give it a go so positive side goes that way down battery in and then press the button hopefully hey there you go if I hold that upside down and that's a warm white not a bright white light I don't know how it's showing up on a video but it's it is a warm white and you can now see the passengers and I've kept the guards room dark so that um, any wires which are trading down which there possibly may be then you won't be able to see them so I've only lit from there onwards and kept the cab area reasonably dark <clears throat> so it's just the passenger compartments I think that's come out really well I like that I really like that good so I can now finish off gluing the switch down black tack the battery and put the bogey on then all I've got left to do is the front end to put the hook on buckle eye hook and a vacuum pipe um, and then that'll be it so I will see you when it's all complete okay so see you in a minute right welcome back again everyone and uh, the final bit really so it's all complete um, it works and I've put on I don't know if you can see that or not but I've put on the um, coupling at the front um, and a couple of vacuum pipes I don't know if they're right or not but it kind of looks okay um, so that's that done the underneath is now looking like that so the cables are now glued to the chassis um, and what I will do I'll, I'm going to weather the chassis and the bogies um, so what I can do is I can just spray over that and um, that will hopefully hide up any of that but if you look say at that angle which is probably the angle you're going to see most of it then you can't really see anything at all really 
so it's all nicely hidden and all I have to do is to press the switch and it comes on perfect that's just what I was after so yeah I'm very very pleased with that so thank you very much Harry for sending that through to me um, I'm chuffed to bits with it really am and I think I'll dig out my 1F as you suggested and um, I'll have that being pushed I think by the 1F and uh, see what it looks like if I get time today um, then I will show you um, at the end of this video what it looks like but if not you'll no doubt see it again on um, another video I do but uh, if I get time I will do it so there you go I will certainly get some more of these coach lighting kits from layouts uh, what was it called layouts for you yeah layouts for you um, because they're just so easy to install and all it is is a simple case of switching the switch off underneath or wherever you wish to place it but for me that was most convenient I think that's really nice I won't get any flicker from it lovely job done okay if I get time I'll run this on the layout but if not hopefully I will catch you in the next video okay so take care people and uh, once again thank you to everyone for all your supportive messages uh, you've been giving me been absolutely fantastic and uh, has really kept me on the ball okay so bye for now and thanks again Harry much appreciated mate thank you and I hope you approve Bye for now. Bye.